Live, the one and only Local 10 News starts right now. And we begin with Vice President Kamala Harris's visit to Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. Her speech just wrapping up and Local 10's Cody Weddle is live from Parkland with more on the call she's making for so-called red flag laws. Cody. And Laren and Sinella, the vice president, she just finished speaking within the last half hour. You can see Coral Springs Drive behind me is still closed as part of her visit. Let's show you what this looked like. Kamala Harris speaking in the gym of Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. Behind her there, you can see the family members of six people who, who were killed in this tragedy. They are holding photos of their family members. Vice President Kamala Harris touching down at Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport just after nine Friday night, not making any comments ahead of a visit to Parkland on Saturday. Harris will speak Saturday afternoon at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School, the site of the 2018 mass shooting that took the lives of 14 students and three staff members. The vice president meeting with family members of those who were killed and then touring the freshman building where that shooting happened. The building is scheduled to be demolished later this summer and has remained untouched since the tragedy. The vice president expected to announce, quote, the launch of the first ever National Extreme Risk Protection Order Resource Center to support the effective implementation of state red flag laws. A second announcement will be, quote, an official call to action for states across the nation to use the historic federal funding President Biden and Vice President Harris fought to enact to help implement laws that already exist. Those red flag laws allow firearms to be taken away from a person if they're deemed by a court to pose a threat to themselves or others. Florida passed a red flag law after the Parkland shooting, but has not taken advantage of new federal funding to implement it. President Joe Biden has made clear he will make tackling gun violence a main issue in his campaign and has tapped the vice president to oversee the effort. And opponents of red flag laws, they argue that the, these laws violate due process and the Second Amendment. But the vice president, President Joe Biden, say it's just common sense. And that's what we heard her saying today. She also spoke extensively about her experience walking through that freshman building. Take a listen. It's a moment frozen in time. High school, classrooms. The desks are still in the configuration they were in on that Valentine's Day six years ago. Part of why I'm here today is to challenge every state. Pass a red flag law. See how these leaders and these parents, through their advocacy born out of tragedy, have changed some of the laws in this state. Our Trent Kelly inside the gym there with the vice president. That concludes her activities here in South Florida. She now is headed back to the Florida, the Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport and is flying back to Washington this afternoon. That's the latest here in Parkland. I'm Cody Weidel, Local 10 News.